Hey folks, it's Zig. Um, I went over to visit with Doc Spencer at the Church of Enlightenment. I've never met him before. I had never been there before. I decided I should do a video about how to approach someone's camp that you don't know. He's been building there for years, so I thought I'd check it out, and I did. But before we go, I just wanted to remind you, hit that subscribe button. Turn that red subscribe button to gray. It's free. It doesn't cost you a thing. Um, I know, I remember when he started building and it's just developed since then quite into a, quite a full size camp. You'll see that a lot of people use different types of borders. They might use like brush or fence. Like this guy has fencing. They might use tires, but whatever it is, it's pretty obvious that you should not be in their camp. But if you're gonna be coming over to someone's camp and just filming it, like I'm doing right now, don't just act like you're on a fucking safari and these people aren't human beings. Go say hi to them. Meet them. You might get a, you might get a good story out of it. I'm not sure what he's building here, but he has been building for quite some time. Let's see if anyone's home. All you need is love. Church of Enlightenment. Kind of give you an idea on how to approach someone's camp in a safe way here in town if it seems like it might be a welcoming camp. Hello? Knock, knock. There are some vehicles here, so I don't know if anyone's home. How you doing? Good, you mind if I come in? Yeah, put the camera away. Of course, here, I'll put it away. So they're asking not to be filmed. And he's gonna give me a tour here in a second. He said, let me take some pictures. So whenever he's done, maybe he'll let me throw his spot on camera, but he's got a cool spot and he seems to be a nice guy. Um, we've never actually spoken before, so he's like, oh, I've heard of you. And I'm like, yeah, I've heard of you too. So uh, that's how you go up to someone's camp and you introduce yourself, you know, and um, make sure that if you are filming, you treat them like human beings because you're not on African safari somewhere filming, you know, lions and stuff. These are humans that have, you know, this is their home. Proud Vietnam veteran. Hey, look at that. I'm a Iraq veteran. Okay, do you mind if I film you? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay. Put my face in that. Yes, I'm Dr. Spencer. I'm a retired acupuncturist. And I'm here at the, the uh, Church of Enlightenment. And uh, we established this about uh, three years ago. And it's for to raise the consciousness of the planet, one person at a time. Beautiful. And this is the garden here. Uh, I have over uh, 20,000 plants growing and probably over 200 different varieties of edible edible plants. And we pick our salads right here at, at chest height so we don't have to bend over. And over here, there you can see, we have more garden here. Beautiful, beautiful gardens here. We've got cauliflower and broccoli and parsley and uh, and onions and garlic and swiss chard and there's my juggling balls i teach juggling here on sundays at 10 o'clock at 10 o'clock come learn juggling in slab city i just built this uh swimming pool and to keep you cool in the summer i'm guessing oh and we're gonna have a beach beach sand i'm bringing in some beach sand over here and we're going to have beach sand here so we can walk right there. We can lay our beach towels out. It does get warm out here in Slab City. It gets 120 degrees. 120? You... Oh, I have, a, I have AC. Oh, and you I, do? Because you have all... And I've a insulated my bedroom That's... with three layers of insulation and put in a mini split air conditioner. i got a hot tub, a little cold and hot tub. And this is my solar oven. I can cook uh, 12 large pizzas at the same time in here. I've got a chicken in there, I've got a chicken bake, I've got beans and rice. And I don't even have to turn it. If I have something big, like I'm cooking a turkey, mm -hmm. I will face it towards the sun because you see it's on wheels. And then right right here, Zig, this is my atmospheric water extractor. We'll be pulling in through fan here, tens of thousands of cubic meters of, uh, of uh, air that has moisture in it, mm -hmm. has humidity in it. And in there I have a desiccant. I, uh, I will, will collect the water in there and then it'll go from there 
there and then in the daytime it'll go into that freezer the freezer it will be at 14 degrees that's below freezing and you know how freezers get the frost on the mm -hmm. side and it'll shut off that will melt and the melt will run gravity feed into the swimming pool that's that's genius there is more water in the clouds in the atmosphere than there is in all the freshwater lakes and rivers in the world this is my water purification and holding tanks here it goes through filters over there then it goes through all the cattails and there's the lava rocks and numerous other materials there and then it filters here and it recirculates that and this water is what i can fill up the swimming pool with that's going to purify this is the first pond i made and i have over 300 fish in there and i'm going to teach my my grandchildren and great-grandchildren which i hope keep and they can catch tilapia uh bluegill and uh, and catfish. And right there is a, my flying machine. Those wings up there, those are just the shoulders right there, they will flap at 20 times a second. That will be a vertical lift takeoff. We meditate and we do healthy foods and living to raise consciousness because that's what the planet needs is higher consciousness. The only pursuit really worth doing is enlightenment. When you realize you really only need a couple of handfuls of food a day, you need a little bit of clothes just to keep some shelter and a little bit of a little bit of a shelter to keep the wind and the, and the rain off you. Other than that, that's all you need to survive as well as anybody. To, for all of us, to face our problems head on. Don't, don't run like the coward that dies a thousand deaths. You deal with your problems straight on. Most of the time, you're not even problems if you have a good heart. These are all medium magnets on here. I'm looking for something that will block the magnetic field here on one half of it so that this would turn on its own. Special motion, then we just hook a generator onto this and we make, and we just size it up and make it big enough like a, the size of a refrigerator and you can just put one in your garage and power your whole house on it. There, that's my greatest invention for human comfort. Okay. Girls and boys can pee in that. Oh. Girls pee frontwards or backwards. Us boys, because we got a hose, we pee frontwards, but don't pee on the yellow because some of the girls uh, can sit on that. And try to hit the spider that's making a living. <laughs> so this is my invention room where I do my sculptures and inventions here. And and it provides all the shade for my trailer. And you can feel the cool breeze come through here. And it's just fantastic to work work out of here. Well, I appreciate the tour. All right, we'll see you later. I'm going to mosey on down the road. Good, good to meet you.